exercise 1a number 2 today i will explain number 2 in a book store 60 and identical books occupy a length of 1.5 meter on a shelf first of all look at the units 1.5 meter is given find the length occupied by 50 such books on a shelf and the number of such books needed to occupy completely a shelf that is 80 centimeter long so if you observe the question in the question 1.5 meter is given but number 2 80 centimeter is given so before uh, calculating both the units you have to con convert the unit in a, in one unit either you have to convert meter to centimeter or centimeter to meter otherwise you cannot calculate okay so come to the solution in a bookstore 60 identical books occupy a length of 1.5 meter on a shelf find the length occupied by 50 such books on a shelf The number of books, the number of books is directly proportional. First of all, you have to write this condition. Either it is directly proportional or inversely proportional. This is direct proportion. So directly proportional. Length occupied by the books. So the number of book is directly proportional to the length occupied by the books. If you observe the question. The condition is given for directly proportional, so we have to write the equation about direct proportion. Okay, now what are given you have to write it, given, go to the question again, 60 identical books. So number of books is 60 and the length of the book is 1.5 meter. Number of book is 60 and length. Y1 equals 1.5 meter. But here you have to convert 1.5 meter to centimeter. Actually, not for this one. The second one you can convert it. Okay, let it be. The first one, the length occupied. You have to find the length occupied by 50 such books. So, the first one. Number of books is 50. And you have to find the length. So the number of book is directly proportional to the length occupied by the book. So we can write the proportion equation. The same equation we can apply here. 
So this is the equation x1 divided by y1 and x2 divided by y2. Use all the values what are given here. Instead of x1, you, you have to write the value 60. Instead of y1, use the value of 1.5 and thus solve the equation. For the first one, you have to find, find the length. Instead of x1, we can write 60 and y1 is given 1.5 meter equals to x2. x2 is 50 and you have to find y2, the length of the box. Now solve the equation. Again, you can use, uh, you can apply the cross multiplication as we get y2 equals to will be multiplied with 1.5 50 multiplied with 1.5 and divided by 60 if you calculate by using your calculator 50 multiplied with 1.5 and divided by 60 you will get 1.25 1.25 and what would be the unit meter because this is the length, we are finding length. We are finding here the length. Okay. Now come to the second part of this question. The number of such books needed to completely occupy a shelf that is 80 cm. If you observe here, here 80 cm is given, so you have to convert here the unit. Because the given unit was on meter, 1.5 meter. So you have to find the number of such books. And the length is given for the second one. So this is number two. Length. Length is given here. y2 that is y2 y2 is given 80 centimeter 80 centimeter okay before solving number two first write what are given Given number of books is 60 and length is 1.5 meter. But if you see that for the second part, length is given 80 centimeters, so this is better if we convert it to centimeter here. So we know if we multiply by 100, 1.5 meter, if you multiply it by 100, then you will get 150. done so length is given and now you have to find the number of books and this is x2 so you have to find number of books
same equation we can get we can apply the same equation and here if we use all the values okay x1 60 and y1 instead of 1.5 you have to write 150 because of we are uh, changing we are converting the unit from meter to centimeter and x2 you have to find x2 so x2 is unknown here value of y2 is given that is 80 now solve the equation for x2 again cross multiplication that would be 60 into 80 60 multiplied with 80 and divided by 150 The number of books so if you calculate this 60 multiplied with 80 and divided by 150 you will get 32 and the unit would be books 32 books because you have to find the number of books here and we are getting 32 books for number two so this is the answer for number two thank you